Coming up on the Raiders report, are the Oakland Raiders interested in signing free agent Justin Houston? See how many Chucky heads I give this rumor. Who predicted the Raiders to sign Ezekiel Anza? And last rumor, will the Raiders draft running back out of Alabama, Josh Jacobs, in the first round of the 2019 NFL Draft? All coming up on the Raiders Report. Raider Nation, happy St. Patrick's Day. You're watching the Raiders Report, the number one Raiders channel on YouTube. Make sure you guys subscribe below, youtube.com slash Raiders Report, and also sports sponsor, BetDSI, the Internet's number one sports book. I got a whole bunch of new subscribers, and if you don't understand my Chucky Head rumor scale, well, guess what? I got you hooked up. Zero Chucky Heads, tuck rule, tuck that. This rumor, not going to happen. One Chucky Head is a small shred of truth. I like to think 25% chance of happening. Two Chucky Heads, people are talking. This rumor is 50-50. Three Chucky Heads, this rumor is pretty likely 75% chance of happening. And then four Chucky Heads, believe it, baby, 100% this rumor is going to happen. And uh, speaking of four Chucky Heads, the first rumor that I want to talk about, Raiders release Donald Penn. It's about time for Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And I've been talking about the Raiders releasing Donald Penn for probably about a month or two. And then they went out and then they signed Trent Brown. And they were like, okay, I think we want to save $4.475 million. And I, as soon as I saw that the Raiders signed Trent Brown, I, I really almost thought it's more of a matter of time. Uh, when until the Raiders release Penn and the fact that they said they're going to you know move Colt Miller over to the right tackle position and like I said before it's going to save the Raiders 4.475 million so here's the updated offensive line depth chart for the Oakland Raiders as it stands right now Trent Brown Denzel Good Hudson Gabe Jackson and Colton Miller all lined up there trying to protect our dude Derek Carr because uh, last year Kind of a rough year for the Oakland Raiders offensive line. They gave up 52 sacks, fifth most in the NFL, considering that the Raiders only allowed 42 sacks in 2016, 2017 combined. All I'm saying is uh, the Raiders need to be able to protect Derek Carr just a little bit more because, again, he's the guy that you're investing in. You guys know how I feel about Tom Cable. And uh, maybe we can get some uh, FCs in the comments section for fire Tom Cable. But they cut Donald Penn. With the release of Donald Penn, you guys are always telling me who the Raiders should cut. So I'm going to ask you, who should the Raiders cut next? All right, I want you guys to comment below. Who should the Raiders cut next? If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on Facebook, let me know. Who should the Raiders cut next? If you want to tell me on IG or Twitter, at MitchellN365, let's do it. Also, I want to give a special shout-out to producer Tom. Go follow him at What Going Downy because without him, there would be no Raiders report today on Happy St. Patrick's Day. So, Tom... Cheers to you. Comment below. Who should the Raiders cut next? And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you guys are. YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. All right, let's get into my next uh, little rumor here. Or we're going to Bet DSI, it looks like. Go to Bet DSI. Use our promo code Raiders120 for 120% deposit bonus. Use it, okay? If you think that you're smarter than me, prove it. Chatsports.com slash bet, the Internet's number one sports book. You want to challenge me to March Madness? Let's get it going. You want to bet on Raiders games with me next year? Let's get it going. Start now. Slide in my DMs. Get it going. Chatsports.com slash bet. All right, Tom. Rumor. We ready? Let's get it going. Raiders sign J.J. Nelson. Another one for Chucky Heads. Believe it, baby. And I'll be honest, guys. I was out yesterday. I was uh, getting into some shenanigans, let's say, here in Dallas with Tom and a few of my other friends. And I passed out, took a six-hour nap. And then I, when I woke up at, like, midnight, I was like, oh, my God, the Raiders signed J.J. Nelson. And they signed him to a one-year deal with $75,000 guaranteed. And here's the thing. Dude can fly. Ran a 4 point two eight forty at the 2015 Combine and played for the Cardinals at the last four years. And sure, if you're going to look at his 2018 season stats, they're not great. But I think we can also point at the Cardinals offense in general, first-year quarterback. I mean, the Cardinals were dead last in the NFL in terms of yards and points per game. But when I look at his career stats, Mike Mayock came out and said that he wants to add speed. You're going to add J.J. Nelson, who can run a 4.28, who's averaged 17.8 yards per reception. He is going to be able to stretch the field. He's not a big receiver, okay? He's only 160 pounds. But you have to be able to respect his speed. And look at this new Raiders wide receiver depth chart. If I would have showed you this two weeks ago, you'd have been like, no way. Antonio Brown, 
Tyrell Williams, and now J.J. Nelson. I absolutely love the addition of J.J. Nelson. Now, he might not light up the stat sheet for the Raiders, but he's going to stretch the field. He's going to open up things for the running game. He's really going to not allow teams to double A.B. because you can't double A.B. when you have two speedsters like Tyrell Williams and J.J. Nelson taking off the top of the defense. I absolutely love the addition of J.J. Nelson. But this has been one eventful offseason for the Oakland Raiders. I think we can all agree on that. When I go live, y'all are going nuts because of these offseason moves. When AB signed, or when they traded for AB, it was great. When you signed Trent Brown, great. Joiner. But I want you to grade the Raiders offseason so far. A, B, C, D, or F. For me, I'm going to give it a B grade. The offseason additions on offense have been great. I have actually uh, didn't expect the Raiders to go out and spend this much money. However, defense is also a huge issue, and when I look at the Raiders' depth chart on defense, we need to add talent on defense. Defense, in my opinion, still can win championships in this league. So again, for me, it's a B grade, but I want to know from you. Comment below. My next rumor here, the Raiders cutting Seth Roberts. This one's three Chucky heads, and I think it's pretty likely, and if I could give a rumor 3.9 Chucky heads, I would do it. And I'm looking at the Raiders, and I'm being like, guys... When are you going to make the move to cut Seth Roberts? Because his contract, $4.65 million with no dead cap hit. And then you add Antonio Brown, Tyrell Williams, J.J. Nelson. The dude's never had over 500 receiving yards in a season. And the only argument that I hear from social media or on the internet, anywhere that I see, is that Seth Roberts catches clutch touchdowns. He's had three touchdowns the last two years. He had five his first two years. Now, I think Seth Roberts, his first two years, showed some promise. I really do. But from what I've seen from Roberts the last two years, there's no way that you can make the argument that we're going to pay a wide receiver who realistically is our fourth wide receiver, potentially our fifth, but yet could be our sixth or seventh option in this passing game. You can't give me a solid enough argument that you're going to pay him $4.65 million, and when if we cut him, it saves us all this money. Now, recently, the Raiders, they released Jordy Nelson. They released Jordy Nelson, a wide receiver who had 63 catches for us last year, who led all receivers in receiving yards. And the other thing that kind of scratches my head with the whole Jordy Nelson release, the Raiders paid him $3 million and then released him. I don't really quite understand that, but I want to know from everybody watching because who's the better receiver, Jordy Nelson or Seth Roberts? If we release Jordy Nelson... We better release Seth Roberts or else I'm going to go on an absolute tangent online. Going to go insane. Type J for Jordy, S for Seth. You guys know where I stand. My next rumor coming up here on the board, interest in Justin Houston. You guys are going to like this. It's three Chucky heads, and I think it's pretty likely. Now, just because that they're interested in Justin Houston, let me phrase this, that does not mean that he's going to be an Oakland Raider. It's just, let's be real, the Raiders definitely have interest in Justin Houston. They watched Justin Houston rip up the Raiders for basically uh, his entire career. Now, he's released by the Chiefs, and I expect Houston to be somewhere around that $8 million a year contract. And he hasn't played in all 16 games since 2014, but despite only playing in 12 games last season, Justin Houston went on the field, has been productive, and sure, his best years, I think we can all agree, are behind him. But Justin Houston is still a solid pass rusher who, in his entire career, has been really good and has definitely been a solid stalwart for the Chiefs. Now, he's not the 22 and a half sacks he was back in 2014, Justin Houston, but he's a solid veteran who could come in at 30 years old, and if we maybe give him a one or two year kind of prove it deal, I like the addition of Justin Houston. But y'all know, y'all know if you're a subscriber at youtube.com slash Raidersport that I don't do this show for me. I do it for everybody watching the most interactive show on YouTube. Should the Raiders sign Justin Houston? I want you to type Y for yes or N for no, okay? Again, subscribe, youtube.com slash Raidersport. And speaking of our subscribers, man, I've had a whole bunch of new subscribers, and I want to give a shout-out to everybody who's a newly subscriber. Tanner Starrett, my man, love it. John Christ. Much appreciated. Chess and Kim Dancer. What you guys dancing to? Eddie Mur... Oh, Medrano. Butchered it like the Seth Curry picture. Justin Diaz. Everybody, again, thank you so much for subscribing. Spread the word. Let's keep it going. YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. My next rumor here. Ezekiel Anza is the best free agent left available. Tuck rule, tuck that. Nah, man, like, I just don't, I, I don't understand how ESPN can have Ezekiel Anza as the top-rated free agent left on the board. Like, when Ezekiel Anza plays, sure, he's a talented player. I just, the, the ESPN originally predicted Anza to go to the Raiders, and their original prediction, which, you know, was a few weeks, months ago, 
predicted Anza for five years, $80 million. Why? When I look at what he did in 2018, how can you give a player five years, $80 million, when he played in seven games? He's got question marks about his ability. I don't think it's question, but it's I think it's his will, and can he stay healthy? 11 tackles last year, four sacks, seven QB hits. Like, again, why would I give a player five years, $80 million, when I don't even know if I can rely on him to play? Again, throughout his entire career, Anza has been solid. He really has been. But it's been for, does he want to play? Does he want to win? I'm not quite sure. He's 29, going to be 30 years old. A lot of injuries, a lot, a lot of injuries. And I think right now for the Raiders, I do not want the Raiders to touch Ezekiel Anza. And I say that, and then I'm going to ask you this question. Better free agent, okay? Ezekiel Anza or Justin Houston? I just talked about both of them. I want you to type H for Houston or type A for Anza. Simple enough. So if you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, let me know. Hit me up on IG or Twitter at MetroRens365. My last rumor on today's Raiders report on a happy St. Patrick's Day version. Are the Raiders targeting running back Josh Jacobs? This one's two Chucky heads and people are talking. And I think if you would have asked me this a month ago, I would have said, no, I don't really think this one's going to happen. But I'm starting to hear a little bit more wind that the Raiders could actually be potentially targeting Jacobs at either pick 24 or 27. He is the top running back in the 2019 draft. And the questions that I still ask myself are, are the Raiders going to bring back Marshawn Lynch? Are they going to bring back Doug Martin? Man, like I'm starting to not know. Can we trust Chris Warren? I don't know. Yes, you bring back Jalen Richard, But again, at the end of the day, I'm looking at the Raiders' 2019 depth chart. Richard's there, pass catching running back. Chris Warren's reported maybe 270 pounds. Marshawn Lynch, Doug Martin, both free agents. Uh, running back's a major need still for the Raiders. And if you want to keep defenses, you want to keep our defense off the field, maybe a way of doing it is really stacking that offense and controlling the running game. Now, sure, 120 carries, but he averaged 5.3 yards per carry, 11 touchdowns out of Alabama. But again, when you look at running backs out of Alabama, I don't really look at stats because the backfield's absolutely loaded. And I look at running backs, and Josh Jacobs is the top running back in this year's draft class. And I don't know if it's all that close. I like David Montgomery. I like Daryl Henderson. I like Benny Snell. I like Miles Sanders. But in my opinion, no, none of those running backs are three down running backs. The only three down running back that I would have confidence getting maybe, I don't know, 300 touches in his first year or two would be Joshua Jacobs. Now, I've seen comparisons to Alvin Kamara, but I don't think he's as electric as Alvin Kamara. But Josh Jacobs is a really talented dude who the Raiders could target at pick 24 or 27. So fill in the blank. Let's play a little bit of a game here. You want to play a game? You guys ever see Saw? Fill in the blank. The starting running back for the Raiders in week one will be blank. I want you to fill it in. Is it going to be Doug Martin? Is it going to be Marshawn Lynch, Jalen Richard, Chris Warren? Could it be Josh Jacobs? Is it another running back? Let me know. Make sure you guys subscribe to the number one Raiders channel on YouTube at youtube.com slash Raiders Report. Hit me up on IG or Twitter at Mitchell Renz 365 Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.